Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to generate a simple random sample from a random number table. Uh, we typically don't use random number tables anymore to come up with random samples because it's tedious and time consuming, but it is the easiest way to pick a random sample and make sure that every student gets the same random sample. So it is still used in textbooks a lot of times um, to get the same answers so that everyone could get the same sample. If you used a random number generator on your calculator or in Excel, everybody would end up with different answers. And so it's very hard to assess that. So that's the purpose of this video. Um, so what we have is there are 638 students currently enrolled in statistics at your school. You wish to form a sample of eight students to answer some survey questions. So we are going to pick the numbers from 1 to 638 and we need to pick a total of eight of them so one thing that you have to know on this is that you have to ignore any numbers greater than 638 and um, you would have to to make sure that you're looking at three digits at a time. If you only look at one or two digits, it's impossible to get all of the values. So you do have to look at three digits at a time when you are doing this. And when you're doing this, you can start anywhere on your table. I decided to start at row two column three. So I'm going to start right here. That way you can see what happens if we have values that are larger. So I'm basically just going to break it off into three numbers. So 715 would be my first one that I would look at. And then I would look at the next three numbers and the next three numbers and I would continue on in this pattern until I have a total of eight. So if you notice on our first one, 715 is our first value that we're looking at. Well, that one happens to be higher than 638, so I would ignore that one. So then I would look at my next number, so 494 would be my first person. Then I would look at the next three numbers, so 484 would be my next one. And then I would look at the next three numbers, which would be 326. And I'm going to just break off some more here where we're looking at um, 104, 673, 180, 070, which would be 70, uh, 134, 986. And then if I need to go to the next row, I will. So let's go back. Um, so after 326, 104 would be our next value. 673 again is too large, so I would skip that one. 673 is higher then my count of 638, so I would just ignore that number. And that's one of the reasons that we don't use random number tables anymore is because you end up skipping so many values. Um, some of these rows and columns, when I was looking at them and looking at the numbers, I was like skipping every single one of them and wouldn't have even been able to get up to eight numbers. So um, that's the disadvantage of using this method. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. And we need one more, but unfortunately 986 is too large. So then I would just go to the next row and my last person would be 596. So the people that I would go and survey is whoever was assigned number 494, 484, 326, 104, 180, 70, 134, and 596. So hopefully that helped you to um, know how to select a sample from a random number table. And like I said, this is used primarily only in classes in statistics uh, because it's a lot easier for a homework generator, um, especially if your homework is online, for it to grade that you got the same sample. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. If there's additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.